Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mysteries of Westgate's Big Los. And off camera, I left this curio shop. What was it called again? Mintassin's Mysteries. Yeah, we were just in there, bought a bunch of spells. Now we're back in the Market Triangle. So why don't we head on over to the Arena District, shall we? The exit for that is right over here. And then we might come back here and see if there's anything that we missed. Arena Southgate. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff over here. Uh, it's not working. Well, what we do now? Duh. Think Master said to Neil after we danced around post? <laughs> Looks like the portal to Undergate still works. Undergate? It's where all the strangest, scummiest people in Westgate go to mingle. As you can see, the way in is a very poorly kept secret. I had occasion to visit Undergate once or twice when I was a night mask. Mostly I tried to steer clear though, the place gives me the creeps. Alright, leave. So there's some entrance to Undergate around here, huh? Entrance to Undergate should be right around here by the broken lamppost, and it's a portal. And this is the Core May Real Company Sheds Quivering Thumb Arena, the Bent Mermaid Inn, City Watch Barracks. And the Morning Star Haven, I think that's where the Church of Left Hander is. If not, then it must be like right here. Let's see if these people have anything for us. No. Would you like something? I ran into a strange little creature at the Bent Mermaid the other day. Deep Gnome, she said she was. I greet you. Like we got some ogres over there. Got some more commoners. But they don't have anything. Good tidings to you. You could lose almost as much money here as in the market triangle thanks to the arena. There's a statue here, but you can't read the inscription. Actually, there's a bunch of statues here. There's a big one over here. There's one here. There's another one over here. I greet you. If you come from the Harbor Loop, please take care not to spread any germs around. Yeah, I'll try. Welcome to you. I find the sport in the arena district to be barbaric, but oddly alluring. Yeah, somebody else said that too. Oh, what do we have here? A locked gate? Can we get in? What's the point in having open lock if we can't open anything? So we're, we're right by this area right here. Looks like this is as far as we can go. What, we can't go into the residential section? Alright, I guess we'll have to turn around.
Nothing interesting really over here. Oh, we got a priest. Hello there. No, oh, you said the same thing. It looks like a dwarf. Good tidings to you. I once saw the Twilight Knights tear a man's off tear a man's arm off in the arena. So we must be by that church of Lathander that we've heard about. Oh, here's a statue. Statue of Durgar the Just. This recently erected statue depicts a paladin with a stern, almost accusatory expression on his face. Read the inscription. You have 50 XP. The terse inscription merely provides a list of Durgar's titles. Durgar the Just, Croa Mark of Westgate, 1368 to, it doesn't say when it ends, Champion of Tyr, Stalwart protect, Protector of the Laws of Our City. That's it, huh? Well met. And we can't roll above a four. Doesn't matter, nobody has anything anyway. All right, so we are now in the Morning Star Haven. The other gate led to the City Watch Barracks. We'll explore there next. But let's go in here. There's nothing around here, is there? No. All right. And I guess we will join their... Unholy incompetence. That imbecile. What a... Uh... 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 Whoa, just a second there, you. Yeah, I mean you. You weren't thinking of going into the temple, were you? If so, I regret to inform you that Lothander's standards seem to be slipping lately. There's naught but cowards and tongue-waggers left. You look far too competent to waste any time with that buffoon. Who are you? What? Oh, the niceties. Right, I forgot. The name's Charissa Mayernos, Priestess of Tyr, at your service. And you are? Ania Freya, nice to meet you. Likewise. Anyway, as I was saying, I'd steer clear of the Lathanderites and their resident idiot. At least, if you've a mind to accomplish much. What idiot? Opig, or as the people of this wretched temple know him, the Glorious Morning Lord. I swear, Lathander must be right proud of that one. Oh yes, the Honorable Morning Lord Opig. He represents everything I hate about organized religion. He spouts big promises about cleaning up the city, but he does little. Believe me when I say that Opig will give you no meaningful help. Just a moment. How can a priestess hate organized religion? Because all too often, it's fake. This may come as a shock to you, but for some religious authorities, they've become so rich from the tithes they steal from their followers that they can no longer imagine the thought of work, sacrifice, or honor. But I've no patience for them. If there is evil to confront, then get to it. And if you don't, or if you won't, then to all the nine hells with you. Quite right. Ah, a person of like mind, I see. Most excellent. So tell me, what brings you to Westgate? Tell her about the cursed mask and your attempt to infiltrate the night masks. I see. I too seek to infiltrate the night masks. Actually, the night masks are only a means to an end. In truth, I seek a man named Pharos Sneed, an old pirate captain who... I have a bit of history with. If anyone will be able to point me in the right direction, it is they. For now, it seems our paths align. So I propose an alliance. I shall aid you in uncovering the truth of this cursed mask, and you shall aid me in locating Captain Sneed. What say you? 
What skills do you have? Are you stupid? I'm a battle priestess of Tyr! Surely that has been clear before now. Anyway, the skills are self-evident. Now, what say you? Alright, fine. Excellent, then let us start at once. So, we got yes. another companion with us. Charissa. Level 8 cleric. And you're lawful good, but you're not really that lawful. Let's see, did we... I don't think we gained any alignment changes. No. Why don't we have a word I'll with take her? the lead. Greetings in the name of Tear. You have simply got to try these sugar crisps from Yurt Bertwicks and Kalimshan. I love these ever since I was a little Oh sorry. I guess now's not exactly the time to be engrossed by candy. Anyway, what's up? What brought you to Tear? My path to Tear was anything but a straight line. You see, I was left to tender mercies of the water havian streets when I was only twelve. My only chance to survive was to initiate myself into one of the great churches. For a while, I was a follower of Ilmater, though their never ending preaching about sacrifice and pain really chapped me. Enduring pain is one thing, but only if you're giving some of it back, you know? So after a particularly loud argument with one of the pain bearers, they threw me out of the church. Good riddance, I say. Anyway, I tried Lathander, Mistra. Torm and Helm, but it was Tyr that really sang to me. There's something about delivering justice to scumbags that really pumped my blood. I guess the priests all recognized that, and it was obvious from the beginning that my understanding of theology was never going to set the world on fire. So they shoved a hammer in my hand, packed me off to train a couple years with the Silver Scales, that's the local order of paladins affiliated with the church, and then sent me out into the world to hand out beatings to those who needed them. So was there something else you needed? Tell me about Tyr. What's there to tell that's not readily known? He's the god of justice and he stands for courage, duty, and honor. Anything more than that, you'll have to ask a theologian. I'm afraid I spent more of my time in seminary thinking up ways to sleep while looking awake than actually learning any of this stuff. Who had time for that dull tripe? So was there something else you needed? No. Alright. Let's get going. Oh yeah! Yes? What type of spells do you have? You have Inflict and Cure, but can't you spontaneously convert to Cure? So stupid. Okay. We're gonna get rid of these cure spells, all of them, because we can cast them anyway. And we'll probably take something else, maybe like restoration or something. Freedom of movement, hammer of the gods, flicked. How about neutralize poison? That could come in handy. What do we have here? Remove disease, remove blindness, invisibility purge. How about mass aid? And level two. Which is a good one here? How about... Lesser Restoration? And then level one, of course we're going to do Shield of Faith. Let's do it for everybody. There we go. Yes. 
And we'll rest up. Okay, are there any treasures or doors around here? Yeah, there's a door here and a door over there. So we'll talk to this guy first and then we'll go into one of those doors. Man, I rolled a one again. He's got nothing anyway. Hail and welcome to the Morning Star Haven. I am none other than Obed Teltas, High Priest of Lathander. Westgate needs the guiding light of the Morning Lord more than ever. It is fortunate that I assumed command of the temple when I did. You've only recently taken charge of the temple? Technically speaking, I suppose I'm not the real High Priest. Tylana left me in charge while she's away. Still, one must consider it more than coincidence, eh? Obed Teltas, rising to the fore, as the city falls apart around him. It wouldn't surprise me if Lathander himself foresaw the need for a valiant leader and sent Tylana away. Tell me about Lathander. Lathander is the most blessed god of the dawn, and I, Obed Teltas, govern this temple in his name. Together, Lathander and I shall smite the evil festering in the bowels of Westgate. Then the people shall chant my name, uh, and that of Lathander. What do you know about the Night Masks? The Night Masks? A collection of thieves and miscreants that have wormed their way into the very heart of Westgate. A time shall come when Obed Teltas turns his gaze to that foul nest of vipers, and then night masks will know the truth of their folly. I need help ridding myself of a cursed mask. A cursed mask, you say? Let me see this item. Whatever malign influence afflicts it, I doubt whether its power can withstand a blessing from the High Priest of Lathander. Probably not. Do you know where we could find the High Priest of Lathander? Come to think of it, do you know where we could find any Priest of Lathander? Obed's eyes widen as he examines the mask, and he gives you a suspicious look before slowly shaking his head. This mask holds a terrible curse, that much is true. While it once belonged to a night mask, the power held within is of a much different variety. A spirit is tied to this mask, and her need for vengeance is terrible. She resists even my formidable attempts to sever the link. Perhaps there's a wizard in Westgate who could help. Very doubtful. I know of no wizard in Westgate that specializes in removing curses. Why, if Obit Teltas, in glorious favor of the mighty Lathander, is unable to remove the curse, what is the likelihood a mere mage could have success? Do you have any suggestions? I believe your only hope of removing this curse is to discover the true nature of the spirit. She would seem linked somehow to the night masks. I suggest you investigate this organization. Find out what you can. It may lead you to discover the secret of the mass. I do have a possible lead for you. A young priest named Jeswick Salem has recently gone missing. He had complained of being watched, and I suspect the night masks may be involved in his disappearance. Huh. Your lead involves doing your church a favor. I'm not surprised. Jeswick has family in the Market Triangle. You should visit them and see if they know anything. I don't know where the family home is exactly, but I believe it is southwest of the Central Market. I'll get to work on it. You mean we'll get to work on it? I sure hope working for the Church of Lathander turns out to be as rewarding as the other option. I never thought I'd be working with the Church again. I suppose it's better than cavorting with thieves and criminals. Excellent! If the Night Masks were responsible for the disappearance of Jeswick Salem, make them pay! 
Let it be known that Obid Teltas and the Church of Lathander will no longer tolerate the activities of those curs. You might want to stock up before you leave. My prices are very reasonable. Okay. Let me see what temple services are available. So we got 1500 XP for that. Alright, so he's got some gloves, a cloak, healing hands. What's this? Does cure light wounds once per day and gives your heal check plus two. Maybe we should stock up on some potions of antidote or something. Man, these are expensive. I won't be able to afford very many of these. I could buy a bunch of these, though. buy another 10. Okay, I'll buy probably like five of these. And now we're poor again. I don't need any of these. I'll buy one of those. I remember this thing. It only has 15 charges on it. Alright, let's see what's through these doors. have here a hallway oh looks like we got treasure here who's this Balia the acolyte has only recently seen her 13th or 30th year but her hair is streaked with gray and her dark eyes bear a heavy crow's feet See what she has to say. Well, hello to you. Hello, my name is Balia. Is there something you need? I don't think so. Goodbye. I wonder if these things are trapped with holy traps. No, there's nothing in them. We could probably store stuff there, though. If we really wanted to. How about over here? Any scrolls? No. Alright, let's check the other room. No, I didn't want to close the door. And we got a mirror image on this side. What is this, a jail? Or a practice room? Looks like a bunch of dummies, targets, and weapons. Nothing else in here. All right, very well, let's leave this place. 
see what this journal entry says. Yeah, we gotta find this guy's family up in the uh, market triangle. make our way out. We have a full party now. We got our healer, we got our tank, we got two rogues. One who's gonna specialize in long-range weapons. Sure. Oh wait, do you have any long-range weapons? Shield of the Maimed God, what is this thing? I didn't know you could use tower shields. Unless you have fighter levels, which you do not. Maybe it's a feat you took. Is there a reason why you're not using this thing? It lowers your attack bonus by two. But raise your AC by five. I think that's a good trade off. Yeah, you're gonna be doing that. And we gotta find you a crossbow or a bow or something. Alright. So, D Man. Why did you quit the Church of Lathander? I know Morning Lord Opig's a bit of a buffoon, but that's not a reason to give up the faith. I didn't quit the church. The church quit me. Well, I'm not really sure how that works. You either follow Lathander or you don't. Opig has no say in what you choose to believe. Look, Charissa, I'm not so sure I want to discuss this with you. But I will straighten a couple things out. First, it wasn't Opig, uh, Obid, that threw me out. The people I displeased were a bit higher up than that. Second, I could worship whomever I want, that's true. But it is Lathander's choice to accept my worship just as it is Tyr's choice to accept yours? If Tyr suddenly stopped accepting your prayers, where would your spells go? What if your power is over the undead? Yes, the Night Mask have a saying. What do you call a priest without their divine protection? Easy prey. Charming, Renara, but true. So, Charissa, what am I to do when all my powers have been stripped? What is a paladin who can no longer lay on hands or who has lost the ability to inspire courage in their comrades? Snort. Renara said it best. Easy prey. So then if your powers are gone, it was Lathander who rejected you, not his church. I suppose so. So Lathander will accept even a pompous windbag like Opig, but he won't accept you? What must you have done? And that's the point where our discussion ends. That's quite okay, I've heard enough to know the truth. Lathander, and Tyr for that matter, accepts some... Pretty atrocious behavior from some of his followers without withdrawing his favor. But you did something so bad that you were cast out? Hardly. No, I'm not stupid. That only comes from doubt and rejection. You're a rejection of Lathander. Period. So you saw something or did something you didn't like and you couldn't handle it. So you rejected Lathander and now it's poor you. Well, suck it up. You have no idea what I did. What I saw. Oh, I'm sure it was life-altering, Mantides. Or should I call you... Half man TDs. After all, whole men do what they're supposed to do. Half men sit around and pity themselves. May you never have cause to doubt Tyr, you self righteous git. Self righteous, am I? Quite the contrary, Ripper. I know I am nothing. Nothing without the powers Tyr grants me. Easy prey without them? No doubt, but with them? Well, wait till you see. How deep into the backside of evil I insert my boot in the name of justice. 
So it's more accurate to say I'm tier righteous or whatever it would be called. Sure, I know Tyr's power. I have felt that power, and that is why I will never doubt him. What the half-man over there did, well, that's crazy talk. Ania, do we have to bring her along anymore? Listen to this nonsense. Okay, who are we going to gain influence with? Hmm. Off you go, Charissa. <laughs> well, that would gain you, you influence with her a lot. Charissa, please stop belittling Mantides. Oh, no, I'm not getting in the middle of this. That's the neutral path. Ah, we lost influence. That's weak. By the gods, is everyone here weak? Well, let me show you weak, you little... Don't bother, Renara. This is leading to a bad place. And we lost influence with him, too. Charissa, trust me when I say that this conversation is at an end. Suit yourself, D-Man. Great. We lost influence with two people because I refused to get in the middle of the conversation where I would lose influence with them anyway. Wonderful. And what are you doing here? Hello. Nothing. All right, so I guess we'll explore the rest of the arena district in the next episode. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, man. Tango Windia.